Hello everyone and welcome back to our video series on spiritual growth. Our aim is to have one a month, going out on a Wednesday, alongside our thought for the day and other interviews and videos. This month, Sue Raby shares with us about St Ignatius of Loyola and how he grew spiritually when he discovered finding God in all things. I was first introduced to St Ignatius almost 20 years ago. And ours is quite a surprising friendship, for we have little in common. He was a Spaniard, born at the end of the 15th century, a soldier, he lived in a cave for many years, a Roman Catholic and the founder of the Jesuits. Not much on the surface perhaps to attract me to him or his spiritual disciplines, yet he did have a burning desire to follow God and to draw more closely to God. And his insights and practices have, I think, much to commend themselves to present day disciples. Whilst living in a cave, Ignatius spent a long time in his imagination, daydreaming. I guess he didn't have a lot else to do. And what he discovered became for him something very significant. For he found that when he imagined himself to be rich, powerful, successful in battle, winning the hand of fair maidens, he was left feeling empty, dissatisfied and low. However, when he imagined himself doing great things for God, or reflecting on words of scripture, or reading or imagining himself to be a biblical character or a saint of old, he found that he was left feeling energised, positive and grateful. It can be easy, can't it, if we're feeling a little down or dissatisfied with life, to think of all the things that are wrong with life. If only we were this, or at the moment for me, if only we could do this, that or the other, or see this, that or the other person. And we can find ourselves being drawn down ever deeper into unhappiness, sadness, despair, frustration, and even depression. One of the spiritual exercises that has arisen from what Ignatius discovered has been the practice of returning in our imagination and reliving a day in our life, or a special meal we remember, or a time when we felt especially close to God. Ignatius talked a lot about finding God in all things. When we recall a pleasurable experience or an event, our brain allows us to experience again the feelings that are connected to it and new things will come to light. So how would we go about reliving a special memory? First of all, we choose a day or an event, or a place that's special. Remember all the details of that time, as much as you can. The people who were there, your surroundings, and ask yourself what you most yearn to relive, or to live more fully. Recall the sense of the day, perhaps the cooking, the sea breeze, the flowers. Recall the tastes of the day, the food you had, the salt on the sea breeze. What sounds do you recall? Is there someone's voice you long to hear? Or a piece of music that you associate with that day? Maybe footsteps. Whose face do you most want to see? And what expressions do you notice? Recall the day in as much detail as possible. And as the day or event is recalled in your imagination, pause to give thanks to God for each gift received and for all that day made that day or that occasion particularly special for you. 
cherish each person, each sound, each sense, each scent, and pray that God will give you a greater awareness of his presence in all that we experience and in the people we meet. I remember particularly recalling the days on which our children were married. And this exercise enabled me to experience more deeply where God was at work. It was very enriching. Maybe this is what St Paul meant or what he had in mind when he wrote to the church in Philippi. He said, you do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious. The best, not the worst. The beautiful, not the ugly. Things to praise, not things to curse. You might like to give it a go and be prepared for some lovely surprises. <laughs>